Do you need help advancing your coding skills? Check out my new program, Code Breakthrough. Code Breakthrough offers hands-on learning with Python and data structures, algorithms, and interview challenges. With a supportive community and regular new content, Code Breakthrough will help you get hired or advance your career. For a limited time launch special, use the link in the description to get 20% off your subscription. See you there. So by this point in your Python career, you probably understand that different types exist when it comes to data because the number seven can be considered a number or it can be considered a string that just happens to have a number character in it. And the data type is actually very important because the way our code works depends on the type. You know, if we say seven plus seven, if it's number data, then we're going to get 14. If they're strings, we're gonna get 77. So although in Python, a variable does not have a specific type. So for example, we can just say a variable and assign it hello. And then we can say a variable and assign it the value five. This is totally legal. And just to see this, I'm gonna get rid of all this for a second. We can run this and we don't get any errors pop up in the terminal. Other programming languages, this is not the case. For example, inside of Java, not to teach you guys another programming language, but you know, it's nice to know some differences. You would have to say something like this, int variable, and then assign it the value five, because five is an int. Then if you went and tried to assign a value to variables such as five, you would get a type error and it would actually not even allow you to compile your code. Python's a little bit more dynamic in that the variables do not have specific types. That being said, just because the variables don't have specific types, they can change. The actual data assigned to them always has a type. This is a number and this is a string. And you've probably realized that they're different, but now I wanna be a little bit more systematic about talking about how to figure out the type of a piece of data and we can even check the data inside of a variable as well as converting between different types of data. So I'll show you guys how to do that. And I'm gonna keep this here if you guys want it because we're probably gonna be using that in a second. I'll just leave it com commented out and scoot that down to the bottom. That's just working with some inputs, numbers and strings. So now what I wanna do is I want to show you how to check the type of a piece of data. So what we do is we say type and then inside of parentheses we pass any piece of data such as five. And what we can do is we can print what this gives us inside of the terminal. So running this, we get class int. Now we'll probably get to classes in Python at some point in this channel. We've already covered classes in other programming languages. We just haven't gotten that far with Python, but you know, the future is bright here and we'll probably get to that really soon. However, the main thing you need to pay attention to is this int. So five is an instance of type int. If we try a different piece of data such as hello, well, this is going to say stir, which is short for stir fry. We could also try a different type of number such as 5.5 running this and we get float. So float is anything with a decimal value. So now you can see that programmatically these are seen as very different. They are not the same kind of data. So if you wanna know more about this, here is an article so I don't have to teach it. And in this, you can see how to convert data. And in here, you can see examples such as this stir function where we pass in data and it gives us a string representation. We have used this already in this series, but what if we want to do the opposite, take a string and convert it to a number? Well, we'll find that in this article, but I wanted to mention that these functions are special and that they're known as constructor functions. Don't worry about the details for that, but you can search constructor in here and realize that the constructors int, float, and complex can be used to produce numbers of a specific type. So they work just like functions. The only difference is that they create a new object of int, float, or complex. So that's what constructors are used for. So when we want to create an integer, we would just say int and pass in the data to these parentheses. So let's give it a try. Instead of using a 5.5 here, let's just go with something inside of a string such as five, and we're gonna convert this to an integer by putting it inside of parentheses and passing it to int. So we're taking a string, converting it to integer, then we are checking what type it is and printing it to the console. So there's a lot going on here, but ultimately we should get the result int, even though the original data was string. So the conversion worked. Now again, if you put something in here that doesn't make any sense, it's gonna break. So we try five GGG and we get an error. So you gotta be a little bit careful. We could also convert this to a float like so. 
running this and you can see it's of type float. So this will be important for inputs where we need to work with numbers because any input automatically is a string. So let's uncomment this and just go through an example. And the main thing in here is we are getting two numbers, a favorite number and then a favorite number two, and we are adding them. However, these are going to be strings. So what we want to do is we want to convert them to numbers since we're going to be using them for arithmetic. So we would say int and pass this in like so and do the same thing down here for the other input. So the way this is gonna work is it's gonna get the input first. That's gonna return a string such as five. That string is gonna be passed into this int here and that's going to return a number variation. So this will be replaced with five, which will then be assigned to favorite number. So that's how it's gonna work and we'll just run it just to see what happens. Yes, we'll put our name in there. It's kind of irrelevant, but seven and 10 and we get the result 17. So that is the basics of type conversion. Now you may want to do a more complex sentence that says what you're doing, so follow along here for a second. We said print fave num plus the plus sign plus fave num two plus an equal sign. And what does this equal? Well, it's going to equal fave num plus fave num two. So pretty much I want it to visually show us the process in the terminal. So I want it to say seven plus 10 is equal to 17. So that's what this line does. However, when we run this, we're actually gonna get an error. So we run this and we say, Caleb is our name. What's your favorite number? Seven, 10, and we get a type error. We don't wanna do the conversion inside the parentheses, but we wanna convert the result. So this will be passed to stir like so, and we'll do that for all of these. So this needs to be converted to a string. And lastly, this one as well. All right, so that is the final code. It's a little sloppy, but it does the trick. So we're taking this integer and we are converting it to a string to concatenate with this other string over here and then concatenating that with the result converted to a string. We'll go through the process here. What's your favorite number? Seven, and another number is 10. We get seven plus 10 is equal to 17. Awesome, so that's the basics of user input. And eventually what I would wanna do is I would want a case on the person's name basically saying, hey, if your name's Caleb and your favorite number is this, then you win, you guess the right info or like you're welcome to use this app or whatever. So that's why I was getting this name and also some numbers just to get a variety of experience and later on we'll learn how to branch and do some more complex stuff. But for now I want to review the user input real quick and then we'll get on to new types and it should be pretty exciting. So stay tuned for the next video because it's going to be awesome like you.